and let's say hello to everybody to uh, the internet world <laughs> who's joining <laughs> us today on a special March Madness edition. So today we're going to be uh, maybe doing a little play by play, having some fun. Um, it's not going to be uh, as uh, square boxed as some of the other stuff that we've done. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, Dave, I'm glad you're joining me for today for the today's play-by-play -play March Madness style. Dude, today is going to be phenomenal. We're taking four big manufacturers, two, four of their best-selling conference speaker phones. We're testing them. We're reviewing them. And we have our special guest on board that's going to give us some uh, some third-party input, some, Absolutely. some unbiased info. Absolutely. You know, uh, we're kind of more sales salesmen by, by nature, right? Uh, and it's good to have somebody, you know, like when we had Delane on a couple of weeks back, um, she was really good because she brought, you know, her own point of view and her, and that's what we want. We want somebody in this situation that has a professionally tuned ear that has been playing professionally for quite some time. She knows vocals and tones and notes and highs and lows and everything in between. So I thought we'd have somebody like that. And she she knows a little bit about style and fashion as well. I'll let her go into all that stuff. I don't want to steal her thunder. So um, let's, let's get right into it, Ori. We got a lot to cover today. So let's go right into the trivia question. All right. This is a really cool one. What are the odds of picking a perfect March Madness bracket? And, and, and the NCAA March Madness bracket is, is the one that we're talking about for those that may not be a basketball aficionados. So what's the chances? A, one in one million. B, one in 10 million. C, one in 100 million. <laughs> D, one in one billion or E too high to even count. <laughs> Stay tuned to the end. We'll reveal the answer. <laughs> ah, woo. All right, here we go. Now let's introduce our special guest today. Today we have uh, award-winning artist, Ashley Cash from Woven Green. Uh, she has um, the, she's published several records. Uh, she's an independent musician, a vocal coach, uh, owner of Potomac Falls Music uh, in Sterling, Virginia. Uh, and she is also they've also she's also released uh, along with Jim Cash um, an album called Into the Bloom in 2017, which is now signed for publishing license on the discover tv network so anything like the history and all that that, that some of that music when it plays in the background it may be some of their music so uh needless to say she's been on um, on a bunch of interviews and they've played her music in over 250 radio stations in the u.s so without further ado let's bring on the talented ashley cash hey guys hey, ashley welcome How to the you? show how's it going all right doing good doing good what are we doing uh we're <laughs> we're gonna do we're, you're 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 joining us today to help judge some of the different criteria to uh pick a winner for today's march madness right. uh so uh let's talk let's 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 tell the audience a little bit about what they're gonna see today so today we're gonna uh put our four finalists thank you ori we're gonna have these are our brackets we've got the Yaylink and Poly speakers up against the Epos, um, Epos, which is Sennheiser and Jabra. So we pitted the two Danish companies against an American and an, and an well, it would, it would be a Chinese company. Yaylink is, is from China, but they've been around for several years making desk phones. Oh, there we go, Ori. Thanks for putting up the bracket. And um, a little bit about what we're going to, how we're going to do this. So J um, Jim. Dave, Jim, Jim, Jim is is Ashley's better half. <laughs> I've got him on the brain. So Ashley and Dave, what we're gonna do is a, is a we're all gonna judge each criteria, and it's majority wins. So two out of the three must pick a winner in order for them to move on, essentially, or get awarded a point. Um, and once we do that, we're gonna see we're gonna determine the winners, and then they'll move on to the next round. 
Right. So we're going to have exactly. So just to get, just to warm them up, just, just theoretically, let's, or just give them a little, little bit of a poof. Yes. And they win <laughs> and that'll be the winner. So, so two out of three of us, or maybe all three of us have to no, two out of three have to agree. And then they're awarded a point. Okay. I like it. That sounds fun. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. So let's, let's start, let's start with the action. So out of the East region, or we are going to start with Yalink against Polly and what we've got here and we've got, and for the East, we've got representing out of the West Coast, the team Polly. They are really, really making a big splash with this new design, this this new form factor that they've got. And we've got team Yaling from the Far East. They are the up and comer. They are the newbie into the final four. We haven't seen them there before. They're certainly making a lot of noise and we think we're gonna see a lot of good things out of them as well. So good luck to both of you. All right, there we go. Let's go. Let's get into the let's get into the categories. So Ori, let's let's go ahead. Let's see. So we've got we what do we have up first? Style? Is that what we're just style? Okay. So we've got this is, this is this one is a more subjective. Now we're not really doing this is not so much scientific, like we're taking measuring sticks and rulers and you know uh, meters and and trying to do that on style. It's more about how does this thing look? How, uh, how does it appeal to just right out of the box from a from an eye candy perspective? Uh, would somebody pick this up and be like, whoa. Uh, and, and one of the things that I can do, Ori, is um, if you'd like on my shot, I can bring uh, a first. We'll start with the yay link. I can hold that up. And what we've got is a round style of design. Let me, let me bring that into focus. There we go. A round style. Well, a lot of folks refer to this as a hockey puck design. Uh, we've got virtual buttons, uh, which um, we'll get to that in a moment. Uh, so it doesn't have any raised buttons or tactile. That It's got a metal finish on the top grill. And it's got an interesting little kickstand on the back. Uh, and so it's it's fairly lightweight. But, uh, you know, it's it's it it is a the hop, hockey puck style design, which is what a lot of folks are moving towards. Or actually, it's uh, thank you, Ori. There we go. All right, there we go. I'm not the best Vanna White, but that that's that's what we've got on style. Okay, so that's our yay link. Okay. All right. Now hockey, hockey puck style with a a little kickstand for the yay link. Got it. Right, and then then we're going to Polly. This is very interesting. They're bucking the trend from hockey puck style to uh, a more of a tapered um, rectangular style. Uh, and what you've got here is a layout from left to right in terms of buttons. And we've got a, a, a slim design. It's sort of like a smartphone. If you look at my phone here, this is the Google Pixel. There's a lot of similarities there. Um, and that's on purpose from what I understand that Sam a couple of weeks ago told us uh, regarding this. Uh, the It's got a USB cable that tucks underneath, wraps around. All right. Uh, it's also designed to be on the go. Uh, it comes in with a built-in lanyard port. Okay. So we've got a lanyard port. We've got Instead of uh, just virtual buttons like on the other ones, we also have we also have real tactile buttons, as well as a as well as a, is, this is a charging port. You can actually charge your phone if I can get that open. Ah, there we go. So you can plug in your smartphone and get a charge, and also. And there's the tactile feel for the power button as well as on the Bluetooth button. They're actual real buttons. Something I actually really like uh, instead of just, but that's just my opinion. Let's see what the panel has to say. Let's start with our special guest, Ashley Cash. What do you think about the two things you've seen here from a style perspective? You're you're big in the, the style, you know, you're out there in the public, people see you on stage and you have all kinds of outfits and things. What do you have to say on style? That's hilarious. Um, 
Well, um, I'm, I'm glad that I got dressed up today here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you're joining us, just so folks know, are you joining us from Sterling, Virginia, or where are you today? Sterling, Virginia. Okay, yeah. awesome. Cool. Um, so my thoughts on the aesthetics are that I would lean towards the poly um, as a consumer just from that perspective. Because oh, oh, it's bouncing around. Go ahead. The, um, the Is it Yalink? Is that what you said? Yay Link. Yay Link. Okay, so the Yay Link is looking to me just that hockey puck style is a little bit like a hot plate or a coaster for my <laughs> coffee. And I know what's going on my desk, and that's going to happen. So, <laughs> you, Good so what you what you're saying is you might stick. Oh wow, that's cool. I happen to have one. I did not. Did, I didn't know you were going to say that, but look at that. Yeah, it just I, it just it ends up like a just like, like you a, said. Okay. Now, if Yalink were to combine those features and have a warming speaker at the same time for your coffee cup, that might. Be Ooh, <laughs> hey Yalink, you're paying. Now, I, I I know they watch us, so Yalink may may take that into consideration. A heating element for your coffee and for your speakerphone. Interesting. Maybe you should patent that before they take it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So yeah, I mean, I that, but I, on a technical level, because I, you know, I first as a you know musician, I'm always thinking about the quality of sound. So aesthetics okay. are always a secondary thing for me when it comes to speakers. So okay. it's sort of a fun thing to say, but it's also like, yeah, but if I were to A/B them and really listen, I'm not, yep. I, I wouldn't make that call just yet. Based, we on will that. get, we're gonna get there. All right. We're gonna get there. So on the style, what do you? So on the style, it sounds like you're leaning towards. Polly, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Polly, okay, part, so part vote. Of it, mm -hmm, part of it's also <laughs> that I, I feel like just looking at it, that there's going to be like a larger spectrum that the sound is able to widen, you know, le left to right, you know, because okay. it's a little wider. So Interesting, it's, it's, interesting perspective. Dave, what do you say? You know what Sam did say is something about the style providing a better receive volume because of how the microphones and speakers are laid out so that style might actually help with some of the some of the receive audio mm -hmm. um i'll tell you the yaling product i like it it's a disc um i guess i could see myself also accidentally putting my coffee on it but it's a <laughs> but it is kind of a me too product you know that's kind of been the norm out there and mm -hmm. i was on the line the other day there's a lot of other no name brand disc products they're all trying to follow that trend i gotta say this poly even with their previous generation speaker phones they didn't go the disc route they they went with a little a square right i loved i love the design of this poly i love the materials i love the tactile feel to it i'd also have to give it over to the poly for style all right well i think you guys have said it well i i i really was surprised when I, i've i've had the opportunity to play around with this uh, with actually all of them, all of the devices that we have today. And I, and I'll just say, we'll say this to our audience. We're not getting paid by any of these manufacturers to say what we're saying. It's strictly our own opinions. Um, so w just take it with, with our, with your own grain of salt. It's our own opinions. There are um, no, no sponsorships or endorsements. So, so they're not tainted in any way by any money being exchanged. Uh, but uh, I've I'm had the available for sponsorship. <laughs> <laughs> Ash, if you want Ashley to push your product, she'd be a great spokesperson. I'm a, for... <laughs> I'm a musician. Jeez. Right. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. All right. I know. Yeah. So if you're out there looking for a pitch, pitch woman, is that is there such a word? Is it a, is that the pitch woman, Ashley, or pitch, pitch person, sure. <laughs> a pitch person? Uh, we get the pronouns correct. <laughs> A uh, pitch first, and Ashley's available for pitching a product. Uh, I would, I would have to give it to the the poly. It's, 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 it's in the trend with what's happening out there right now. It's not another me too, uh, and it certainly catches your attention. Uh, and if you did have one on a table, it's not gonna have a coffee mug laid on top of it. But I think it's very, it's, a, it's going with that natural look. It's got some denim on it. So I, I, I'd, I'd go and it, so that's three for three. Whoosh. And it goes in all net. <laughs> we, so we give the style over to um, to Yaling. OK, so let's go to the other. Yeah, um, to Polly. It, it, oh, I'm sorry. To, yeah, Polly. So the point goes to Polly. Polly going. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for picking that up. I, I totally flubbed that one. OK, so let's let's jump into the next thing. Audio pickup or mic pickup. Uh, Ori, you've got those queued up. 
All right. So what we're going to so what we're going to do here. So this is where you want to throw a listen up, uh, Ori. Yay. So <laughs> with this piece of segment, what you're going to get is some audio. So if you are listening to us today on your speakerphone or on your laptop, if you have an opportunity to throw in some headphones, go ahead and do that. Now you're going to get to hear the audio much better and you're going to hear some of the smaller nuances here um so without further ado let's go to the audio i'm standing at a distance of six feet with a clear line of sight to the speakerphone does your brand stand out when you talk on your device this has been a test using the yaylink cp 700 I'm standing at a distance of six feet with a clear line of sight to the speakerphone. Does your brand stand out when you talk on your device? This has been a test using the Poly Sync 20. All right, so there you have it. This is a really hard thing to judge if you don't have headphones on. I, I, I listened to it myself uh, several times before. It's a tough, tough category. This is where I really need the expertise of an Ashley to give us some, 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 some support. I need some customer support, Ashley. Tell us what we need to do. Or, right. do, or do you need another round to hear um, that? I could probably tell you what I heard based on okay. that. Um, okay, so I heard that there was a stronger saturation of sound in I like the that word. poly. So you've got um, more frequency range that's saturated. Um, but at the same time, with the poly, you're also picking up a lot more uh, like background noise. So I was hearing more, um, maybe you have to adjust your noise gate or something like that on your settings if you're using that, or baby care being careful about what you're broadcasting with extra noise. So um, OK, all right, good, good it, to know. So it was a slightly thinner sound to the frequency range on the um, yelling okay and so who would you uh, who would you give the basket to on that one Polly Polly okay Dave you know what not to be extremely technical like Ashley that Polly <laughs> saturation boy I could tell immediately like you know what the yelling sounded good it'd get you through but if I had the choice to make and if I had an opportunity to hear both I would also be picking the Polly for voice pickup all right, let's see the bouncing ball. Let me tell you how that test was done. I stood about six feet away with a clear line of sight from the devices. So, and, and all of these mic pickup tests. So, um, I, I'm going to just go against the grain against you two on this one. I'm going to say the Yaylink, but I, you know, I'm overruled by it because two out of three, uh, <laughs> you guys would give it to Polly. All right. All right. So on that over, one, over overturned on that one, Rolando. That, that's all right. That's all right. Uh, I'm just I'm just gonna keep track in of in your who... face. <laughs> <laughs> so we we've got one and one. So we've got Polly, and we've got uh, actually no, that's Polly twice. Okay, I'm just keeping track of the score here. It's gonna be. Oh wait, there we go. It's right on the screen. Thank you. Uh, I don't need to keep track of it. Thank you. Uh, so well, let's go to the next the next round of criteria, which is price. People look at price. People shop on price all the time. It is not the best way to gauge um, the performance of the device because there's so many variables, but people still look at it. So let's give you the prices. Okay. Uh, the Yaylink is priced at 145 MSR of 145 and the Poly is priced 199. And these are prices that include the Bluetooth dongle. So you get that with both of these. Uh, and, you know, I guess if we're just going straight from numbers, the price alone, Yaylink has to win. I don't know. I don't know. There's not much to guess about that one. Panel? Price nope. alone, I, yeah. I mean, yeah. The right? Price. price has to go to two, Yaylink. Numbers, right? don't li numbers don't lie. Numbers Agreed. don't lie. Right? There we go. Shush, nothing but net again. Oh, there we go. So Yaylink <laughs> wins that. So they pick up a point. So... Let's go to battery life. This is actually a really important one, especially if you're on the go, you're moving around. Um, hopefully soon uh, there's more return to office. We're hearing more and more of a hybrid style of return to work where some people will be at home, some people in the office. So if you're moving in and out, 
of your home or in and out of the office, battery life becomes a key thing. If you're traveling again, battery life becomes even more important. Um, this one's pretty straightforward. Both of them um, have what they advertise as the battery life. On the Yealink, we've got nine hours, and on the Poly, we have 20. So I think this one's just straight across the board. Nothing really to debate here, panel, right? 20 hours is better. 20 hours is better. Good job, Polly. All right. So so point goes to Polly on this one. And again, nice. Done. All right. Uh, they just keep hitting these free throws. Are they free throws or two pointers or three pointers? We forgot. We didn't. We didn't. We didn't go over that. And <laughs> we didn't. We didn't go over Looks that. Like in free throws. It's Looks free, like free throws. Free throws. Only worth one. Okay. Okay. So they're free throws. Okay. Cool. Um, next one. Oh, here we go. We're going to need Ashley's expertise here as well. We're going to the. We're we're down to the clutch here in the final few seconds, and we're going to see if they come. Who comes through? So these are both audio clips all right uh that we're going to play here just to, to to see what happens in the last few seconds the first uh okay thank you for reminding me about that so let me shoot this over to dave and ashley while i uh set that up uh on so, so that we can get the alive on that so we're going to do these live so that folks get to see and, and the reason we're going to do this next two live is that we could have recorded these 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 audio clips that you're about to hear or you're about to hear th through this microphone, but we want you to have an idea of what it's really like, what it's going to sound because we're we're broadcasting through the internet. Um, we want it to be more real world than in a lab or sitting in a booth where you've got completely no noises. We want it to be real world. So you got I got some stuff going on. And you're going to be more than likely sending this through the internet if you're on. This is going to be on Zoom or Skype or whatever. So I'm going to do that. So Dave, so take over for a few seconds while I set up. All right. So while Rolando is getting all this set up, if you're watching us live, if you have any questions, we'd love, we'd love to know where you're where you're watching us from, what kind of products you've had experience with. Um, I have a feeling that Rolando really wants to set this up and do a live thing so he can show us his new dance move that he had practiced. <laughs> Yesterday, he was talking about some dance routines, some special <laughs> dance dance move. And if I know Rolando, he's he's gonna pull this one out of his hat somewhere. So that'll be pretty that'll be pretty interesting. We've done some testing with this, Ashley. Um, I think you're gonna be really impressed with uh, the audio. I don't know if you've ever seen his dance moves. We have um, not as impressive, but he tries really hard. He tries so really is, hard. is that the next segment? Are we going to be judging? <laughs> Uh, I didn't agree to that, so I guess I'm I'm hoping we don't have a dance off. But then again, I might have some fans out there that might might want to see what I can do. All right, so Rolando, you you're queuing up uh, the Yaylink first yep. or the Poly first? I'm I'm queuing both of them up, making sure they're connected, so that we can. Uh, yeah, there we go. We've got those. Awesome. Um, so we've got uh we're, we're doing uh voice test okay yes 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 we're going to do voice first and just a second device connected oh did you hear that <laughs> the the yay link has a british voice for device connected uh, okay here we go i like the different accents that they put on here we <laughs> so we've got your music queued up um, what I can't find for the life of me right now is the is the voice side. There's there's two there's two clips. One is going to be music, and one is going to be just voice. Uh, just give me one more second. Let's see if I can if I can grab that from over here. Oh. That one sounds, doesn't want to play nice. But. Sounds like they have a timeout. Maybe there was a commercial break. Uh, that oh they yes, to, the, the, they the, yeah, to. they're they're getting Gatorade on the on the sidelines. Okay, let me. All right. So um, again, if you're watching us on Amazon, you can see on our carousel we have a few different bundles of both the Yealink and the Polycom products. We have it with and without the the USB dongle. So you can purchase what, what you feel is appropriate for you. Again, if you're taking or using calls on your laptop or computer, um, go, with the, go with the bundle that has that USB dongle, the Bluetooth dongle. It's going to make a world of difference for your audio quality. So, Rolando, with this here, 
Are you doing this from your cell phone or from your computer? Okay. I think we lost Rolando. I didn't hear him just there. I don't know if he had lost us. And I still hear you. Nope. No? No, yeah, we're not hearing you, Rolando. Uh-oh. I can hear Rolando. You, you hear me? Dave? You're not hearing me? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, no. three, four, five. So something may have paired up. Something ah. is interrupting your pairing. Ashley, he has enough Bluetooth signal in there to okay. bake a <laughs> potato, I'm sure. <laughs> What's it doing to his brain? Okay, so I've yeah. got I've got the the clip. So right. so Audio Ori, back now. the um so for some reason the 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 voice the the sound audio that we had is not playing. So we're just going to do the sound your audio. music. Ashley, do you hear Rolando? Yes. You do? Okay. Um, Dave, strange. can you hear me? Yeah, Dave. Dave, I lost you. D- Dave. So Dave's the one having technical difficulty. It is live. So that's, that's the kind of stuff that happens when you go live. Right? Dave? I'm still hearing you, Rolando. Okay, if you want okay to good. The- so... Yep, I'm going to queue up the song. Let's. Okay, so what I learned was that we've got to do this, like this. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to play a second to see if we're too loud. Ori, tell me if, if the level's too loud and I can bring it down, okay? L- lower it. Okay, too loud. Okay. All right, here we go. Here we go. Is that right? Okay. Here we go. So what we've got first up is the Yaling. Okay. okay, so, so that's, that's the Yaling. So give me, give me a second here. Yep, just a second. Oh my, my. Here's what's crazy is that. It's playing everything now but the song we need. Hold on. No. Okay, here we go. There we go. Let's go back. Okay. So we got we've got both of those there. Um let's go to the expert, Ashley. You, <laughs> what do you like first, the first or the second one? Second one. Yep, yep. The bass response is definitely superior on the uh poly. Okay. So um, mm-hmm. okay. if I were to the first one it doesn't sound bad at all. I mean, it sounds really good. Um but it does sound a little closer to a, a like an iPhone, you know, just speaker in the room, you know, that like okay. um, compression Power of the off. low end. Okay. That's all right. Well, I got to tell you, I've, and this is, and the, then the clips you're hearing are from um, Ashley Cash's library of enormous songs. Uh, and this was lifted up, right? Yep, that's right. Okay. So, um, I happen to like the the poly. This is where uh, I I think it's so much. It, it's got definitely more bass in it. Yeah. Um, 
And if you were going to use it for music purposes, I would have to give this one to Polly. They definitely have the edge on this one. I know Dave's having some difficulties trying to get back up, but uh, <laughs> did, were you able to hear that at all, Dave, before we shoot the hoop? I, I, heard, I did hear a little bit of it. I'm surprised you weren't dancing. Um, I actually also <laughs> I'm really sitting like today. I'm sitting. I'm s- <laughs> if Sorry I was standing. Technical issue there. Um, if I can just get that wrapped around. So I have to say that that poly, that poly makes me want to dance. So I think that sound mute, that sound coming comes through there, just amazing. I okay. So Edge goes to Polly again on this one. They're just amassing points, uh, and so I in that that really um, I think that's that's those are the is that it Ori we got we got all the categories there okay so we've got a bracket winner right now we can announce advancing to the finals would be the Polysync Twenty. And the crowd Ooh. goes wild. Okay, <laughs> thank you. Yeah, and by the way, these are all really good companies that make good products. But we're talking Final Fours here. This we, the small things is what's going to make the difference. And so we've got the Poly advancing and the Yay Link. Thank you for playing today. Poly advances. Now let's go to the next bracket. This is the West Region bracket between the two Danish powerhouses, Jabra and Epos, formerly known as Sennheiser. Sennheiser's world known for sound and Jabra has been out there. Uh, they're also aligned with um, uh, a division within the company that makes hearing aids. So they also specialize in audio and and sound. So in the Western bracket, we got Epos and Jabra. Go ahead, Ori, roll it. And fighting in this seed, we've got an all-Danish affair with Team Epos having just rebranded themselves uh, from being known as Sennheiser. They are now known as Team Epos, and we've got Team Jabra also in Denmark. These two are very, very well-matched, well-pitted. We'll see how they stack up against each other in this seed, and they're fighting to get into that finals after battling through a bunch of other contenders. Let's go to the action and see how they stack up. All right, so we're going to start with the Jabra. Uh, give me give me a second just to see that we've got the right audio levels here. Because uh... Oh, thank you, Ori. I started in reverse order. Uh, let's go to style. <laughs> I still have this in the brain. All right, so <clears throat> let's go to style. And what we've got here with the Jabra and the and the Poly, let me let me let me pick up the Jabra. All right, let's start with that guy first. So we've got another hop, hockey puck style of design. Let me move over here. There we go. And what you will see is it's got a raised speaker. It's got the USB tucked in underneath here. All right. It's it. They're virtual buttons, so you've got to touch them to for them to come on. I've got this one already turned on, and so the power button is what you're seeing. All right. It's got a mesh grill. Uh, it's kind of a polished black kind of look, and when you touch it, you see the the rest of the the buttons come to life. Okay. So that's the Jabra Speak 750, and then we've got the Epos which is also in the hockey puck style. Uh, here we've got some uh, a very like uh, a polished metal kind of look. Uh, we've got a metal grill as well. Uh, in, in the case of the 750, it looked kind of metallic, but it's actually a piece, it's plastic, where you've got a grill, it's actual real metal. Mm. Um, this one does feel a little heavier, um, <clears throat> and I'm not sure why, but probably some of the components are heavier, it does feel a little bit different. Uh, again, and, and, and you've got the raised buttons. Uh, it's got all of the similar bells and whistles as the Jabra does. On the Jabra, you do have a kickstand, whereas we don't have that on the EPOS. As you can see, there's a kickstand, okay? EPOS has a, a no kickstand, um, but it's got the raised buttons. And it's got, on the back, it's got a compartment like the Jabra for the USB. Uh, let me turn that around. And for the dongle, okay, right in there. Uh, a note, small note on the <clears throat> on the EPOS. It comes with a, a USB C 
kind of connector, but it includes in the box an adapter for C to A connectivity. I'm just going to look right into the camera and say, I wish all of you manufacturers, Jabra, Yealink, uh, and Poly all did the same thing. Just include the adapter. They may have their reasons why they don't do that. But I just love the fact that you can just take this out of the box from a customer service standpoint. And we work with customers all the time, Dave. It'd be so much easier if in the box they had everything they needed. And this is one aspect that I have to give kudos to EPOS for doing, putting the, the C to A adapter. So it doesn't matter what computer you have. You're just going to get everything in the box that you need. No guesswork. No, um, by the way, I ordered the wrong thing, which happens. Uh, so Jabra, Yealink, Poly, please add a USB-C to A adapter in the box and make life easier. All right. So, or, if you, or if you don't, partners like us will. <laughs> we'll bundle it. We'll put it together. We like to make it. We like to make things easier for our customers, so we're happy to do that. If you won't make that move, well, it, it's a good one. I'm I'm taking that one to the bank. Uh, I, I hope Ori will take a note of that. We'll make that suggestion to our team, so we'll, we could start bundling it that way as well. Um, so we go to Ashley with the style points. Ashley, break it down. All right, all right. So style. Okay, I'd say Jabra is winning. For sure with that kickstand and the fact that the speaker itself isn't flat it looks like it's got a little more going on with <laughs> the uh, mm. ability of the sound to kind of have more uh more uh wide range uh for the audio so that's okay. just a thought but uh, i'm definitely putting the point on on the jabra dave i like both of these products so much you know, it's it's almost like I, I like the materials on the EPOS side. I like that it's not the faux aluminum or faux metal, but I really like the management of the the flush button, or I should say the virtual buttons in the kickstand. You know what? I'm flipping a coin in my head, and I'm gonna <laughs> have to go. Ooh. I'm gonna have to go with the jobber on this product on the style as well. Oh, it's two. It's two. Two to one. A uh, two. To, okay, two on jobber. It's it's you know uh, it's tough style wise. I, I I love the kickstand. I I can't disagree with you on that, Dave. It is really really cool. Um, it makes it's just one of those things. But there's two reasons I I like the EPOS. I like the all in one uh, uh, everything in the box the adapter being in the box and and something that i just realized in in touching in these things touching these devices at the same time the the epos is heavier uh and it, it sometimes psychological things play with your mind like heavier means better right substantial so it, it does have a different feel in your hand uh when it's slightly heavier than the jabra um and those are the two things that i and the buttons I love the buttons. Like I love that you can actually feel the buttons on here. There's no guesswork. And these buttons are always there. They're not virtual. So from that standpoint, I can, there's no guesswork. I don't have to know if I have it on or off or whatever. I know there's a mute button here. I know there's a power button there. Uh, and I like that. So I'm going to go against the grain. And I'm going to give that one to EPOS. But I'm overruled. In this case, Jabra takes it to the net and scores. <laughs> all right, all right. So, so let's let's keep it going uh mike pick up so ori you've got those two all right go for it i'm standing at a distance of six feet with a clear line of sight to the speakerphone does your brand stand out when you talk on your device this has been a test using the epos sp30 And now the Jabra. Go for it. Standing at a distance of six feet with a clear line of sight to the speakerphone. Does your brand stand out when you talk on your device? This has been a test using the Jabra Speak 750. All right. There you have it. Ashley, I turn to you. Expert right. on the panel. All right. It's, it goes to Jabra on my end over here. Um, oh. For sure, I think, um, I don't know what if it's the kickstand or what, but um, with the audio kind of moving towards you six feet away as you're listening when you were recording it, 
that's a big difference than it going upwards in the room. Um, I could hear a lot more saturation again, and um, there was a lot more noise on the Sennheiser. Okay. So maybe it was just how I was perceiving the audio on that, but I'm gonna have to go. I'm gonna have to go with the Sennheiser on this one. Um, there wasn't a huge difference. Um, I was assuming maybe you did have the kickstand up for the for the Jabra, but I'm surprised that the Jabra, in my opinion, didn't have a better pickup if you were using that kickstand. But my vote on that is gonna go with the the EPOS solution. Okay. All right, so I am going to I'm really down the middle on this and this is terrible because now we have a split decision on on this. Uh, uh, we're going to have to leave this one since it's a split decision. I'm, I'm, I'm to me, they were fairly even. Um, and by the way, this 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 one wasn't with the kickstand up it look, in the picture. It looks up, oh. but it would they were all flat. They were all oh. laid flat so that every one of them had the ability to pick up audio in the same direction. Uh, let me see. Let me let me ask my producer. What did you hear? So I'm a split decision. We have one and one. Can you be the tiebreaker, Ori? Oh, Ori, the producer gives it to Epos on this wow. one. <laughs> oh, and oh, 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 they just, oh, he just <laughs> made it in. Oh, Epos eking out. So we're tied right here. Um, let's see what we've got now. We got price. This is straightforward. Okay, we've got two fifty nine for the EPOS, and we've got three thirty for um, Jabra. Whoa. So advantage goes to EPOS. Okay, next we've got battery life talk time. Right, and we've got uh, we've got that Ori. Okay. All right, we've got this one's also. St I think we're. We, yep, we've got the wrong graphic on there. There we go. There we go. So on this one, these and again, we're just using what is on the documentation of the spec sheet. So this one's straightforward again. This one's 18 hours for the EPOS. Numbers don't lie. No, there you go. And what we've got next is the audio test. So will Jabra make it out of this or not? Um <laughs> So let's see, I've got those connected. Let's see, the Jabra's up first. All right, let me unlock this bad. Yep, hold on. Okay, so let me rewind it. Let me know if it's too high, Ori, but I think we should, we've got it right on this one. Okay, so that's Jabra one. Okay, and then just give me a second here to add EPOS. EPOS, are you here? You should be here, EPOS. There we go. All right. Ooh, too high. Told you he was gonna start dancing. <laughs> so, what do you think? What do you think, Ashley? Your oh. your music being played back. Which one would you want to that listen to? Was, that was a clear, like no doubt. That second one, the okay, so the EPOS, right? Yep, the EPOS one. So totally, okay. totally undeniably better. Um, the big difference that I heard was, uh, aside from the bass response being more, you know, balanced, um, on the Jabra, it was like uh, the the high end was mm -hmm. really, really brash, like, um, you know, kind of that sibilance in the in the voice where it gets kind of gritty, where you sort of hear it and you're like, 
So yeah. that high end was a little too boosted and it lost the balance compared. Like they're really, I mean, uncomparable. It's probably because Sennheiser's, you know, kind of been doing the music microphone thing for a long time. <laughs> so right, right. They're, bringing, right. they're so bringing in a good thing there. It's probably in their wheelhouse doing, doing music. Um, <laughs> okay. So let's, uh, Dave. Hey, I just got to say, I know that these products are not designed for people casually listening to music at home. That's not what they're marketed. That's that's not their primary market. Mm -hmm. However, I've had a chance myself to use these all for music. And in this example right here, that ePulse product, that blows that jobber away for the oh, sound my goodness. of music. Blows there it we away. Go. It blows it away. So my, my vote doesn't matter, but uh, I would I can't disagree with anything like that. I will tell you that. Um, my two cents on it is that I had used the Speak 7, uh, it was before that, the 710, uh, for quite some time. And when I got a hold of this EPOS, I was blown, just like you two, I was blown away by the audio quality on this for, for music. For, I mean, they do very well there in, on the voice when you're using Zoom, but even when you're using Zoom or any of the other platforms, those voices come to life. And then you throw music, if you ever listen to music, which a lot of people do, the difference is enormous, uh, especially when you go to listening to music. Uh, and I can't disagree with you. So now we have a head-to-head -head on the finals, and we've got a very interesting SmackDown finals. All right. <laughs> it is Polly from the West Coast. Their West Coast California company versus EPOS from Denmark, representing the other side of the pond. Um, all right, so let's get this finale on. So in our finale, in our finals, we are going to do a very interesting, it's going to be even less scientific, right? Because these are two really good products. They both have shown their abilities to uh, wow the audience, wow the crowd, and win and get into the finals by hitting almost all their free throws. So, uh, Ori, we're going to queue up the, the neat trick. So the way we're going to judge this one is as who has the best neat trick, right? And so we uh, shot some footage and thought long and hard, what are some of the neat things this these products can individually do? And we're going to throw it to the poly first. Oh, okay, so let's do the EPOS first. Okay, so we're going to do the neat trick for the EPOS. So go ahead, EPOS, show us your neat trick. We'll go ahead and shoot that in a basketball hoop. All right, let's do it. Oh, no, wow, EPOS, <laughs> did you see that? It shot a free throw. It, it bounced in, and uh, so... Uh, one of the things that I, and I was talking about earlier is I really love the fact that it comes in with the USB adapter for, for both computers so that a user can um, basically use it no matter where they go. If they, they use a different computer, they don't, or even if it like it, and have enterprise users, sometimes, you know, things change, you know, buy another laptop or a different one and you're stuck with, and you don't need to go buy that or an adapter, everything in the box. So uh, EPOS was telling us, hey, nobody else has this. So I'm going to do this, and I'm going to shoot it through a basket, which is what it did. <laughs> and it shot it through a basket in slow-mo. So that was a cool, neat trick. So, uh, And now we go to the poly. Ali told us it could take a shower. I said, all right, do it. So it, it took a bath, literally. And that was from one of our previous episodes. And the poly actually still works. And that's the, the same one that you saw on that screen is this guy right here. It's the exact same one. Uh, and it did the job. You know, um, you didn't know that, Ashley, but I knew that. Dave knew that. And so it still functions even after taking a bath. And um, we had Sam from Poly on a couple of weeks ago, and he says, I wouldn't recommend doing that, but it is rated as a waterproof device. So we want to put it to the test. And so it, it passes the job of 
of doing uh, of, of taking a shower, bake, taking a bath, or in this, if you spilled a little water or something, or you have a kid and it, you know, something gets knocked over. I mean, I, I you can't see my my desk, but if I accidentally knock something on my desk, and, and that happens, uh, life happens, uh, and it's meant to be taken outdoors and. Uh, in the outdoors, you're going to get, you know, moisture and rain, and it still won't won't damage it. So I'll turn to our special guest. Tell us, Ashley, which one performed the better neat trick? <laughs> well, I would I would go with that uh, with that Polly at the end there. That's that's pretty cool, especially if you do have a problem with coffee cups on desks, and uh, that that. I I will vote on that one for sure. Okay, so Polly gets gets the vote from Ashley. Uh, Dave, better neat trick, Polly or Epos? You know what? Epos fought a good fight. They came all the way through. It came down to the. It was a. What do they say? It was a. It was a buzzer beater. <laughs> Epos again. You put up a great fight, but I gotta put it down. I gotta give uh, Polly the the point here. The waterproof is something that um, we've already seen with some folks that it be, that it would be valuable in the real world. There's a lot of folks that are not just in the office, they're outside, they're in the elements, and that's protecting their investment in the technology. So I'm going to give it to Polly on this one. You know, you guys are not, uh, you guys are saying all the right things. Is I can't disagree with anything you've said, and... Um, you know, I, I think they're these two devices, the, the the EPOS and the Poly, both performed well. They did well in our challenge uh, as real world devices. All kidding aside, uh, both of them were real good. And <clears throat> the neat trick with the water is that by far the better trick. So I will have to give the edge by a hair, by a bath, <laughs> by a bath over to over to the Poly folks and the Poly Sync Twenty. And our winner is the PolySync 20. They've won the March Madness. Dave, what do they get for winning the March Madness challenge? <laughs> the crowd roll. Uh, what's get, that? They get the they they get a trophy. I thought don't they, they get a big trophy. Ori, do we have a trophy? Or no, just <laughs> Ori. Our producer says there's no trophy on the graphics, so <laughs> they I thought, just get. I thought that this was a dance off at the end. Oh oh oh, it was. I, <laughs> I'd have to. Okay, so what what we're gonna do? Um, do we have time for the questions, Ori? Okay, so Ashley, since we have you on, uh, what we do is with our guests, we like to bring them on and ask them just some questions, so the our audience gets to know them a little bit better. And just just you know, you're human. I'm a human. What else besides you know judging and and being fantastic at audio? You you do or you like? So we've got a couple rapid fire questions. Uh, what's your favorite? Who is your favorite musician or musical group? Oh my god! <laughs> <That's> a- <laughs> that is an impossible. Question. I'm not ready for this. <laughs> <laughs> that actually feels impossible to me. Um, I know so it's asking a lot of a musician, but favorite, favorite. I mean, God, I. You gotta pick one. I, I gr- don't know. That's really hard. I guess I'll. I guess I'll go with um, uh, uh, Stevie Nicks. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> She's great. Fleetwood She's a Mac. great. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Okay. All right. So Stevie Nicks, Fleetwood Mac. All right. Favorite app on your phone? Uh, all right. This is rapid fire, but I need to look at my phone real quick. Just <laughs> That's all right. Take a look, you know. <laughs> um. Let's see. Any cool ones that you've been playing around like, with or like, one that you... You well, like you know, I mean, in my in my world, everything right now is about business and you know, okay. And you're talking and, to business crowd, so yeah, that's okay. So I'm just super excited that I got this little client portal app for my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> it's called Canopy. I was so excited. I got to p- upload my tax information differently from my phone this year. That's that that's makes a life plug. a lot easier, right? And better. Yeah, okay, so so plug for Canopy and. What's your favorite type of food? Um, wow. Oh, oh. I've been on a kick lately making uh, making dumplings. So I, I've, I've been mm. enjoying some Asian food. Like mm, some, like yum, yum, yum. Dumplings. Steamed dumpling. All right. Yeah. And lastly, preferred, it's a multiple choice here, preferred method of communication, email, text, phone call, or instant message slash DM. Or DM. I'm gonna go with text. 
And so your text. Yeah. All right. Interesting. You know, she's bucking the trend, Dave. We've had, I think, three in a row that came in and said phone calls. That's right. That's, That's right. Interesting. Oh, wow. <clears throat> yes. Maybe she, she, she's younger than all of those folks that we've had. Maybe that's what it is. That's, yeah, that's, that's I probably to the what it text is. Text thing, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, I you, you, it first. Okay. All right. Cool. Well, we want to thank you, Ashley, for coming on today. You've been such a wonderful sport, lending a wonderful ear and uh, into our audience uh, with your expertise and knowledge, uh, with our very unscientific uh, experiments that we've done. <laughs> so, thank you for Thanks coming a lot on for today. Having me. Uh, you have an open yeah, invitation so anytime you want to come again. And if you like this content, I want to encourage you to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, all the whistles, all the buttons and everything you can. Because, Dave, we come out with uh, a bunch of little nuggets from time to time that we don't have scheduled uh, uh, like this. We do come in live every every Tuesday at 1 p.m. East Coast time. But we release other things that... If you're not subscribed or getting the notification, you will not see. You're going to miss it. So you, how about this trivia question, Rolando? Yes. We're going to throw that over to Ashley. We're going to let Ashley give us her answer on My this. My answer. 100 so, million. <laughs> <laughs> you 100 million. So the question was, what is the what are the odds of predicting a perfect bracket? The I'm, I'm, answer. I'm, Do we have it, Ori? Ashley. Ashley is saying C. Uh, it's too high to count. <sighs> it is a nine. What? How do you say? Quintillion? Tillion? Nine quintillion. Two hundred twenty-three quadrillion. Three hundred seventy-two trillion. Thirty-six billion. Eight hundred fifty-four million. Seven hundred seventy-five thousand. Eight hundred eight. Holy Eight? smokes, Batman. Eight. That is a wow. big, big number. Now, what what we also uncovered, uh, also from this uh, DePaul University math professor, that is that your odds improve closer to 120 million or billion, I can't remember, Ori, if you have a little bit of knowledge about basketball instead of nine gazillion. So we right. do have we have we have someone chiming in from Amazon. His name's okay. Noah. And Noah wants to give everybody a little bit of advice here on their picks. Okay. So, so he's saying, you know what? The easy pick to win it is Gonzaga, but the San Diego State <laughs> they've <laughs> they've won their last fifteen games. Okay. So somehow West Virginia is um, somehow a three in March Madness. Noah, you are shook with that. I think Noah's going to say. San Diego State. So everybody, listen to Noah. You just you just increased your odds uh, tremendously. Well, I don't know about that. I'm going to throw something in the mix. Virginia's got like four or five teams in the in the brackets this year. Yeah, I think I mean, they got three. Three? We're three. Right, there, no, there's a couple. Oh, of, there's sorry, there are three pick. My bad. They are, but in terms of schools, we've got five schools: uh, James Madison, Virginia, several others that are that are in there in the mix. So. Big ups to Virginia teams. Keep it coming. Hopefully, we're we're gonna we're gonna pull one off. One of these guys could do it. And lastly, let's announce who is coming up and what we've got. Do we have that, Rory? All right. So on the twenty third, we've got Sharina Kushner of Data Canopy. Not the same company as that Canopy app, uh, Ashley, but Data Canopy. They do a lot of cool things. Um, they're involved in data centers. Um, so if you are an IT or telecom manager, pay attention, going to the cloud, those type of things on the 23rd. And we've got a reveal on the 30th with some new Yaling products. They're really cool. They, they are, they're really changing up. They're flipping up the script here in terms of what's out on the market in terms of hands-free devices. So stay tuned for that. More to come. We'll have some interesting things to, show, to, to, to talk about. All right, Dave, any parting words? No parting words. This was a ton of fun. Ashley, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate the participation. Thanks for having me, guys. It was fun. All right. Thank you, Ashley, and we'll see you next time. Next time.